Hey, it's me Fiora and welcome back to Slate Aspire. I think, well last time I think I did daily and it was with Silent, no wait, did I do after that an Ironclad run? I don't remember, but I'm gonna do a Silent run. I don't remember how to play this. So it's gonna be very interesting. I kind of feel like I want to take the max HP. I'm taking the max HP. I basically never do that. But um, the HP is super low on this guy. And it's actually pretty hard to find enough block cards. Ooh, we have this conversation going again. So I think a little bit more HP is a really good idea. So this path right here has two alleys, but there is no bonnie between them, so that's pretty scary. I don't think I want to do something like that. There would be a late shop. There is a shop as well. There is an alley, but of course they're different paths. I could do double alley here, here, and then dodge this one, go this way, and take the shop. I think I'm gonna give that one a try and then I want to go here so that oh do I though maybe I want to go here have a one question mark because you know no bonnie before the elite which can be pretty dangerous um because these guys they can pummel me pretty close to death Woo. <laughs> It's already started. <laughs> right here, smack. Five points damage. I just don't remember at all how to play this. I remember the fact that poison is very effective and it's like the easiest build on silent for me. Because I've done it basically every single time after I did... Sheep run used to be my favorite, but then I faced... Time Lord with a ship build and never after that have I done it. <laughs> and the whole discard type of thing or any other type of build. It's just those are too complex for my brain to comprehend so I haven't done those at all. No wait, I have done them a couple times I give them a try. This could save my butt someday. In the early state of the game. It's zero cost. Wait a minute. How much is it? 15 damage if upgraded. Out maneuver is great. Um, what does... Doesn't the gray mean that it's... Like, uh, just normal rarity. And blue is a little bit more rare. I'm taking backstab. Okay. So I'm starting to collect cards now and I'm sure Act 2 I already have like 50 cards on my deck. That really helps because it just takes a big chunk out of them. At least in Act 1. Not so helpful in Act 2 or Act 3 anymore. But in an early state it just makes the <laughs> fights a little bit easier if you can get 15 points out of their health or even 10 or 11 this is not enough to kill it which kind of sucks uh, I don't want to get hit I can wait a turn hopefully I get strikes next turn this is also very risky I do have fire potion very good very very good Mm, none of this seems very interesting. This seems a little bit interesting because it's extra draw. It's only one. Ooh, I'm doing it. I'm picking up every single card I'm offered. Somebody make me stop. I'm gonna upgrade. Uh, not my favorite cards, but okay. Better defense is always good. It's always, always really, really good. Like in this kind of case, I can use two strikes on this. I should just upgrade my defense more often. 
one of the best events you can have in this game in my opinion is the one that upgrades all your strikes and defense um this is really nice but i'm taking the poison i'm obviously going for a poison build i don't know if i can do it really good well you never know with this game you never know about anything you know nothing i have to get rid of this i should have used the innate backstab on the bluebird one and leave this freaking louse alone because this one is the true threat here i need to kill this so that my survivor is enough to defend Fend off the attack Whew. my throat is super dry <laughs> just a second some um lubricant down my throat and i'm talking about mouth gel and not anything else deadly poison now i have all the different cards i could ever want so let's freaking use them 20 points block we are living the dream quick slash can i kill it i think i can kill it all right i made the mistake so often to defend in that case and then i get hit for so much more because you know i didn't just kill it this would be super good dodge and roll we i wish i could remember the cards this is pretty good because you get dodge also in next turn so i'm taking it do you see i'm freaking taking every card i'm offered so backstab poison neutralize quick slash strike I'm not gonna use these just yet, but in case this thing gets serious and it just might get very, very serious, I might want to use them. I'm using this one. It's a very bad decision, but I don't want to get hit. Also, another thing that I did. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, there is no way I can deal with this. I noticed that poison cards are skills, so they're gonna make this guy even angrier. I basically have to dodge, but do I get enough dodge for it to be meaningful? He gains... wait a minute. When you play, uh, play skill, he gains two strengths, so every defense card is basically three points of defense. This one is... Uh, wait a minute, two points? Yeah. I don't want to be hit for 27. Man, I, I wish I would know, like, what on earth are you supposed to do here? Take it like a man <laughs> or defend or use potions. Probably will have to use a potion too. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, three points, poison. Get out of here. Two potions used, but at least I survive without getting hit for freaking 30 points or whatever. This makes literally no sense for me. Unless you have like your hand full of wounds or daisies or something. Then this makes sense. But if you have like regular cards, no. I don't understand it. Um... I'm gonna skip these ones. I have to fight a super elite. I would love to upgrade something. Like maybe neutralize or 
the backstab. If it's Laga volume, backstab is not necessarily the best idea. Do I want to upgrade? Do I want to risk it? Let's freaking risk it. So, what do I want to upgrade? Dodge and roll, daily poison, neutralize, backstab. Um, I think I take neutralize. That's such a weird choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for laggable in. It's not laggable in. Ooh, survivor, please, yes. Survivor is currently keeping my butt somewhat safe. I'm so thankful for it. Even if this took a year, this whole fight, I kind of have to try and take it a little bit careful. I... Oof. This is not gonna do anything, obviously. Maybe should have used it on one of these guys so that next time I could have poisoned them. Because this is going to be dead anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> so I can use the neutralize on this one and get rid of that freaking pesky cog. They have so much block that my strike, you know, it's just a teeny tiny, like, it's not even a slap. You, it, I'm just basically batting them. Like, good boy, who's a good boy? <laughs> I'm doing literally nothing to these guys. I am so freaking poisoning you now. I want to get rid of one of them at least, so poison is really okay. It feels maybe a little bit waste, but reducing this fight or reducing the opponents in this fight a little bit, that's like priority number one. Priority mission. Go from three enemies to two. ASAP. Okay, we're defending then. Thankfully, these guys don't get angry if you defend. How dare you defend against my attack? Now I can weaken you. It works. Not well enough, because I still get hit for 7. But 7 is less than 10. So I shouldn't be complaining. This is so slow going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally going to take a million years. Ahem, ahem. I can poison. While I'm waiting for this eternal fight to end one day maybe next week i'm i'm here staring at my mic which i just hit once again i i do that pretty often now and i'm thinking like i should probably place it somehow a little bit different but i'm thinking like how on earth am i gonna place it any different <laughs> like i am just Doing some interior design here, waiting for this. Oh my gosh, this is just taking forever. Maybe I should put this, like, speed this up. Double the speed. Uh, I'm gonna poison you some more. Get rid of one of them. Priority number two. Reduce the enemies. Two to one. ASAP. Before you die! Holy jeez, I didn't even realize. Maybe I should pay a little bit more attention to the game and not so much on my mic and interior design of my room. Just a thought. 
Okay, this is super fun. Let's go. Only covers need block. Best defense is good. Attack. I don't know why I did that. This is being troll again. When I could use the strikes, I get all defenses. And when I would really need the defenses, that's when I get the strikes. I should try to build like five cards deck sometime. Would always have the cards that I want. <laughs> two defense cards, two attacks, one skill. You know what to do. I know I don't remember who it is, but there is someone, <coughs> excuse me, on the wild internets who does play with like teeny tiny decks, kind of like seven to ten cards. I think ten is kind of like a lot and it's like a crate going. I saw somebody do once a run. I think it was on Ironclad, and they had eight cards in the end, and it worked so good. It was absolutely beautiful. It was gloriously amazing. This, yes, ninety-nine problems, <laughs> and vulnerability ain't one of them. Whenever you play a power card, sure, okay. I'm gonna just dodge that angry person there. I have 8 HP. Oh my gosh. I don't really have anything to give to you. Strike. At least I got rid of a card. But I didn't gain much. I don't even know, like... Um, I know they heal you if you give them a good card. If you give them, like, decent card, they heal you more. And then, if you give them really good card, they heal you full. That's all I know. I think there is like uh, three or four levels of rarity in cards. I don't know if it things like um, uh, those common cards, not common cards. What are they? The cards that everybody has, neutral cards. Are they recorded in different ways than the cards that are sort of Oh my gosh, I I just I am lost of words. This is so weird. I don't know how to speak anymore. The, these classic cars. Are they just different or not? These ones. I'm talking about these ones. Apathesis. Uh I think yes. There is some really good stuff in here, but I do want apathesis. That's like the best card in this freaking game. Backflip is pretty good for the draw. Too bad I can't have a turnip, but I think I'm taking Orichalcum. And then I forget I have it all the time. This is kind of like mini boss. Mini crime lord of slimes. I'm out of a drink. I was like, wait a minute, why is my dodge and roll so upgraded? I didn't upgrade it. Yeah. This is the world we're living in. Can I split you? The answer is heck yeah. Oh, that was stupid. Well, not necessarily good. I, uh, the poison will work before it splits. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller set of slimes. 
and ooh, ooh, ooh. you didn't say the magic word uh six block this is gonna be 16 block they're gonna hit me for 20. i think i'm gonna go for more block at this point because my health is super bad Let's neutralize this guy. How come I didn't use like a backstab when this whole thing started? I don't even remember what I did when this whole thing started. I used the apothesis and then I blocked, right? Uh, I'm gonna skip this. I don't know how to use nightmare. Or if you have a have to have like particular type of deck for it to be very useful. Maybe copy some more shifts. So we start with backstabbing. Let's just throw everything at him. Three more points of damage. There you go. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't get cocky though. This this can be very dangerous. This can be very dangerous. Uh if I do this, I'm gonna go to eight. It's going to be okay. Also, I don't need to get greedy. That's like very important thing to remember that I don't need to get greedy. Does he do anything like um, make me frail or something? Should I use artifact? 12. I'm gonna do dodge roll, defend and quick slash. That weakness inducing card is pretty good you don't need to block for so much if you just have them being weak all the time so <laughs> i keep thinking how i should use weakness much more because it's basically a block card but um then i never do deadly poison keep it going i need a catalyst Desperately need catalyst. Gonna toss a strike out of here with doing dodge and roll. It's gonna hit for 16. I'm not gonna do the neutralize. I don't need to get greedy here. Neutralize is so not big. It wouldn't have probably hurt me because neutralize would have made it weaker, so it wouldn't have hit me so hard. But well. I'd rather be safe than sorry. That was a little bit waste maybe, but my health is so freaking low. If I can keep myself safe, that's just pretty gorgeous. Gorgeous! Oh, hi! You just went into defensive mode. I thought you'd attack, but you defend. I need catalyst. Okay. It's almost over. All I need to do is just pluck. But if I can speed things up a little, I'm all for it. Beautiful. I knew I could do it so well. Phantasm Killer. Next turn, your attack still double damage. This is also pretty good. But it's also pretty bad. 
I would need. I don't even know if Silent has a card that basically gives it artifact. I think maybe Kanakea is actually one of those cards. This kind of cards. I'm taking Phantasm Mole Killer though. Hopefully it pays off. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm taking social. Haven't had it for a while, so... I usually get the slime. Poverty is like my go-to thing. But we change the pace a little bit here. This shop is very awkwardly positioned. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to go that way. The best amount of bunnies is here. There is two shops in here. Not that many bunnies. Two bunnies only. That's very little bunnies. But there is decent amount of question marks maybe. And... I'm gonna risk it. Obviously, we use Phantasm Killer immediately. I'm gonna smack you. And um, Quick Slash. Just fall to the ground, bird. So nobody's attacking me now. I, can, I just go after this one. Oh! I forgot. <laughs> I worry, Calcum. Oh. The memory. Even a goldfish has better memory than I do. Oh, this is unfortunate a little bit. They're gonna hit me so hard. I think I have to go all the way with defend and not dodge roll. It's a little bit less. It's two points less block. Sure, it's also block next turn, but you know. Even you? Defend. I'm gonna poison you. I just want to get rid of you. When there is multiple enemies, obviously, you want to get rid of one of them at least. Two is so much easier to take than three. Take that in any way you want. Weird assortment of stuff. Holy jeez, these guys are angry. Phantasm killer, zero points. I should have used that one last. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I'm not focusing once again. I'm just thinking that I need to get a drink. I want to get this fight done first though. Fall down. Oh, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. That's better than falling down. Phantasm. Poison. Defend, defend. Survivor. This time I got it right. This time I got it right. Congratulations. Well done. You know, you have to give yourself credit when you do something right. Even if it's a tiny, tiny thing, give yourself credit. Some people, oh, I hate you, Sozu. Noxious fumes, always amazing. I'm freaking taking it. Uh, so many people, they are like, they have a lot of negative self talk. Oh, so many good cards here. Ooh, we're gonna backstab. We're gonna dodge and roll, and then we do Survivor. Surprisingly good amount of block. I was thinking, like, how the heck am I getting this much block? Because my block cards ain't good. It's because of Apotheosis. It freaking changes the whole game. It's... it's Oh my gosh, I don't have a single block card. Please! Alright, sure. Well... 
I do have an Oricalcum though, which I once again forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, I forgot to go get myself more or something to drink. This brain of mine, I swear to you. I swear. Oh, I don't even need that. Another dodging roll? Is it bad idea? I'm taking it. Oh, I'm taking too many cores, man. I'm taking too many cores. Anything worth? Start each elite combat with this strength. Gain five region. Um, I'm gonna remove a regular defense card to keep some sort of a balance. Man, I haven't done that in ages. It used to be one of my things that I did all the time, constantly removing cards. I haven't done that for so long. Caltrops. This would have been so good. I'm taking Caltrops, I'm taking Rage and Potion. I can't take a Rage and Potion. I'm taking another Noxious Fumes. Oh, Foodwork! Man, I hate you. Man, I hate poverty. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go get the drink right now. Then I continue to talk about negative self-talk. I don't I think I didn't finish that thought. I don't know. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back with a drink in my hand. Heal. Uh I think I'm gonna heal. No way, dude. Don't be stupid. Choose a freaking card. There could be something really good, like um Dash is pretty good. Flur is very good. Catalyst is freaking excellent. I think I'm taking Catalyst. I so freaking want Blur, but I need Catalyst. I desperately need it. So yeah, a lot of people, they have a lot of negative self-talk. They don't give themselves credit for a lot of things. And they only see like mistakes, things they did wrong. And um, sometimes our society can be kind of like that, like people are only bringing up the failures and negativity. So it's kind of really important for reals to be nice to yourself and give yourself credit when you do something right. When you do something well, just, you know, Say to yourself, well done, you did real good. Cost nothing, but you might feel a li little better about yourself and life. It's not always easy if you're used to saying, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I don't want to double your poison. I do want to double your freaking poison. I want to get rid of you. This guy I can deal with regular base. Oh, you have poisoned all because of the freaking cloud. I forgot I have that one going. I definitely need a nap. Life advice once again. Dash. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip that one. I'm pretty happy with what I have going right now. Oh, another shop? Too bad I don't have a lot of money, but maybe I can get something in here. Oh, maneuver. Sucker bunch. Oh, maneuver. Yes. I wish I could remove a card, make my deck a little bit thinner. Can't be done with two gold. <laughs> so we just gotta live with what we have. I'm gonna backstab the heck out of you. I think I'm doing call drops. We get rid of this one real quick. And then we do defend and um, outmaneuver. This freaking mommy, hi mommy hide hand is turning out to be really excellent. It's really serving me. Oh, bye. So well. 
so good. So neutralize, noxious fumes, deadly poison, defend. Hopefully I don't have to fight that blooper thing. Uh, I'm not saying that in a way that I wouldn't want to get to the end of third act. I'm saying it in a way that, you know, I would love to fight, for example, Donu and Deku. Instead of the blue bird. So that's the definition of that. Let me check. Uh, power cards are round ones. Yes, I have three of them, so that's not actually so many. So, so very many. Oh, you're all already done, basically. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Do I want to have another deadly poison? I don't think so, because um, the noxious fumes doing really good work here i don't want to go shopping now i'm actually asking questions if i do want to take a risk and try to fight an ld i don't have a lot of hp though i'm gonna go this way i'm gonna think about it no thank you so It could be too risky, though. Let's do it. Please heal me. Oh. Okay. I don't want to get cursed, so please don't. Purity. Nightmare. I don't want Nightmare. I take another Neutralize, though. Flur would have been nice, but... Oh, not this guy, dude. Live dangerously, she said. You'll be fine, she said. Okay. Now I really need to focus. Just really, really focus. This is not very good for me. I don't want to use Catalyst just yet. Oh my gosh. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm too pretty to die. Give me noxious fumes, man. What are the odds? Also, I have zero block cards here. Quick slash. Noxious fumes. Neutralize. Neutralize. It's not getting any lower. Call drops. Strike. Am I gonna survive through this? Yes. With something like 10 health. 9 maybe. Holy jeez. 13 health? Okay. Oh man, this is so bad. Oh, now you give me the freaking dodges when I would need a lot of attacks to get rid of this guy. You're just being one of the biggest trolls of all times. I might not survive this. It's gonna be 25. I'm dead. Shouldn't have come here. Wait! Oh, Caldrop saved my butt! <laughs> oh my gosh! What the heck? Okay, I did not expect that. That was completely unexpected. I'm taking die, die, die. Oh my gosh, there is no way I can get to a bunny without fighting. This might be a horrible fight, so I'm taking the safe road. And another apotheosis. Another noxious fumes. Fruit juice to expensive. I can't take it. I have soju. Don't be stupid. Blur. I think I'm taking blur. That's it. 
I have too many cards. We are at 30 very soon. There is no way I can survive this. This is 24. These, these guys, they are like elite fights to me. And besides, even if I survive this, which I'm not with these cards, goodbye. This time for real. I'm not gonna be able to win the boss battle with like 20 health. Oh man, I really like this run. It was going so well. Uh, but I got the unlock. Which is great. The cars ain't nothing very useful for me. That was horrible. Unfortunate. I'm gonna I should probably make a habit to actually check the cards before I play and not like after. This could work with poison deck. Because poison is skill. So... This is regular type of card. This is a little bit rare card. This is a little bit more rare card. Very rare. Then there is defense. I don't know, I've been... Perhaps waiting for some sort of like super good card that does not even exist. This is nice. Burst is very good. I basically never see it in my games though. Footwork is good, but Apotheosis is actually the best card of all times. And Venom is interesting. So colorless cards. <clears throat> you can't have all of these. These are also... You know, I always thought colorless cards are something that everybody can have. But they're not. At least I don't think so. Tanakea is one of these. So this would be kind of needed with the intangibility thing. Apotheosis is the best thing on earth. Is this jaxed? I don't think so. Oh well. It is what it is. Maybe next time I do a little better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!